Welcome to me. <laughs> Bring him here. First cast. You hold this. First cast with Brian's lures. I'm gonna let it go, okay? Okay. Let's see. What if it touches me, bro? It won't. It swam right by Daddy. your foot. <laughs> Kara just caught the first fish <laughs> of paddling and bassin. What kind of fishy was it? Smallmouth bass. Guess what I caught him on, Brian? The only fin's topwater. We made it out onto the water this morning and we have a couple just a couple casts in Mark has the first catch of the float this morning and We're not rushed. It's kind of nice. We have a, a very easy float today to get to first camp to the first ball field Brian has loaded us up with the very best lures that we know how to put together So if you guys want to reach out to him, that's the man right there. He'll paint you up something but we're gonna go float and do some catching so welcome to paddling and bassin do the sub thing if you haven't done that yet but uh, try to make it out to these events guys we're having a blast already and it's just start let's go Say hoo to hoo. Hoo to hoo! <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Yep. How'd I go now? Adds a little bit of red on the underside. This is the lure she caught it on. I, got, I picked a couple of these up because last year they worked really well. And so I just had her, I just tied that on there and just let her use that one. But that's the one. It was magical last year and still working. That's one I caught on last night as well. Fish on, fish on. There it is. <laughs> All right, I am finally on the books. Yeah, there we go. Just a smallie, a nice one caught on that, that same jerk bait that I've been talking about. So, good deal. We finally got one. So Briar's Lures puts another one in the boat, and my kids are navigating the rapids. It's so cool to see them actually out here. I'll get some shots of them through the day, but as a dad, it's so fun to see my kids on a kayak doing some fishing. And I thought they would do more kayaking than fishing. Seems like they're doing more fishing than kayaking. I think that's cool. Marcus just caught another one just as I was talking to you. We're on one. You get it, Mark. Working on it. Got him! Woo! That's a All nice right. one. Good catch. That is a nice smaller. Jeff just got another one down there too. Because this trip is pretty mellow, 
We have a lot of hours to make a short distance, um, so we're not we're not pressed. Another fish on. Who's that? Bugs just got one. Who is it? That's all. Oh, that's way bugs. back there. All right, so it's good. So it's starting to pick up. It seems like we're catching a few here and there, which is good. Um, same lure that I was having success on last year is working also for this trip. So we're going to stick with it. I have it tied on to the boy, the daughter, myself. Mark has one tied on as well. So it seems to be produced, and we're probably going to stick with that a little bit. We're gonna stack them up today, boys. You having fun? I am, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want a snack? So this is uh, what we're eating on the on the water today. It was a donation from Kate's Real Food. Real simple little things, and uh, it's just something to get you through in a pinch. Of course, it's better for you than the fake stuff. Better than fake, right? Yeah. It is a lot better than fake, I'm sure of it. What's the best? I don't know. I yeah. see oatmeal cranberry. Mm. What's the red one? Dark chocolate cherry and almond. What are these green ones you were sewing on? Peanut butter dark chocolate. Mm, that's what I'm eating. This is the peanut butter dark chocolate one. Does it taste good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And it's it's got a little bit of crunch to it, but for the most part I'd say it's a soft bar. Like you can imagine. It looks good. This is the peanut butter and dark chocolate. Is that okay? Yeah. I like it. I don't like a lot of things, actually. Derek's really picky about what he eats. There's basically three things. <laughs> Pizza, popcorn, and chicken. <laughs> so now we got number four. So that's good. Those little breakfast bars right there. Kate's Real Food. And we'll bring those along when we go hiking and stuff. So he has something to snack on. Or he's hiking. Fishing out on the boat or fishing out here on the lake here or on the river here doing the paddling and bassing today So I'm glad we had those along I'm Catching all the lunkers man <laughs> Look at that little small man Wild You still have it Marcus Nice Mark's on one There it is. <laughs> Just a little tiny thing. And we're off. Marcus caught a nice fish. There it is. Beauty. Tank. You measure it? I'm about to. 275. Two? Yep, 275. 75. You doing a length? Yep, I'm doing a length. Eighteen. Eighteen. Good fish, Marcus. Oh. What you got? Oh. So Mark is, uh, Mark's on fire. <laughs> um, you guys should know this already, but Mark only fins. He's got a YouTube channel, but I'll link it below. You guys can check him out. Mission! Get over here. Get it, son! They're coming in the boat, whether you like it or not. Get over here. That's it. You're going to have to grab. Just lift them into the boat. Lift them in. Nice! Good catch, son. 
hold up. Took long enough. <laughs> nice. I don't feel confident in trying to actually hold it. Hey, no biting. Good catch. Go ahead. Good release. I think he'll I think he'll make a full recovery. <laughs> Good job, and he dude. He even left me a souvenir. Oh, <laughs> a leaf. Him. I just oh, caught one. Released. I gotta make sure I get it in the boat. I'm tired of losing. And just saw one. Yeah, fat belly too. There you go. Oh, oh, my boy. My boy's on one. We're in a hot zone. Get him in the boat! Nice man, good catch. So my boy, just as kids often will, he was just complaining, he's like, oh, I'm not catching anything. I don't even feel like fishing. He goes, fishing isn't fun. He said, but catching is. <laughs> so I said, well, you gotta cast to catch. So he started casting and oh, I'm telling you, it's been 10 minutes, he has two fish in the boat. I love it. I love seeing my kids catch fish, guys. <laughs> It's better than catching it yourself, hands down. Nothing compares to that. That's cool. He's over there handling. I'm a good, good man. Mark just got one. What'd you catch them on? Black news days. Nice. Now to get them on hook. Congratulations, Brian. It's great, great catch. <laughs> one of your own lures. Yeah, good one, man. You're earning that large mouth. Amateur hour. <laughs> You're earning that bass, buddy. <laughs> yeah. We're having a blast, guys. So Brian has been, he's been casting and casting. He just hasn't connected yet. So that was his number one bass. It is close to lunchtime right now. So, uh, we're probably going to be looking for a spot to pull off and you know have a little lunch or swim session whatever it is but pulling in fish mark is destroying them today he's doing great so i'm so glad that mark is doing good this has been his um, redemption trip so if you watch his trip from last year he didn't do real hot admittedly so he would say that but this year He's crushing it. He's doing great. I'm so glad for my friend. So follow the link. He's going to do a great video. Um, he's a fantastic videographer, and uh, he likes his cinematic kind of uh, feels to it. So definitely check out his channel, OnlyFins. Link down below. We're having a blast out here, guys. Mark is on number 15 with that catch right there. You're on fire, buddy. Yeah. At the end, we're going to have to tally up all the catches. Well, of all the people that are still there to ask. Yeah, how many did you get? Two, so far. You got two so far, very good. Hopefully we can change that. Woo! <laughs> 
I honestly lost count. Oh, Marcus, he snagged up. I thought he had a fish. I, I lost count. I think I'm about a dozen. I want to say 11. I want to say 11, something like that, give or take. But it doesn't matter. We're having a good time. Um, everybody, everybody caught, you know, so that's, that's, that's the goal, right? Everybody catches. We are almost at camp, so we probably have about another 30 minutes to paddle. And then we'll be uh, pulling up on the shoreline and we'll just have some camp life here this evening. But it's been a great first day. We're almost to camp and Kara just got a fish on. Fishy! Fishy! <laughs> good catch, good catch. Right on. We are right at the tail end of this paddle. Uh, for tonight so uh, we're just trying to do uh, catch one or two more you know right at the the evening bite but it's still early in the evening but we're almost to camp is what I'm trying to say good job good job all right you want to go ahead and let it go yeah all right goodbye fishy there it goes I don't know where it go it went underneath your boat <laughs> it's swimming away she's watching it cool good job good job so that makes uh, how many for you, sweetie? Three. So she has three, um, but she caught one last night too, right? So yeah. four total. And the boy has something like that, but I think you, I think you're ahead by one at least. And um, I guess I have thirteen now. Anyway, who cares about counts? We're having a good time. It's funny because Derek didn't want to fish anymore. But as soon as Kara hooked into one, his rod was outcast. <laughs> sure, he doesn't want to fish anymore. <laughs> Look at him go. Yeah. Well, that's not what time today. I just got done taking a dip, just doing like a, a bath or something like that. So this is the bank. You can see it's a little bit steep there. Um, but Jeff pulled out here. Uh, one of our guys pulled out here and he just did the, the first leg, you know what I mean? But the rest of the kayaks are set up here next to me. That's <coughs> my kids, me, Mark of OnlyFins, and then Marcus down in the end there. <coughs> Anyways, I just took a little bath and I feel refreshed, I feel great. <laughs> this first leg of the journey has been really incredible. I think Mark OnlyFins, he is, I think it's 17. <laughs> he caught 17 bass today. Whew, I think I'm up at 13 and Marcus is just behind uh, Mark and I think, it, I wanna say he has 15 or 16 or something like that. So, whew, we're doing good guys. Uh, each one of my kids caught, um, Kara caught three and Derek caught two. So everybody's catching. Uh, Brian Briars, Lores, he caught a few before he left and uh, so did Bugs before he took off. So it's like everybody that was on the trip has been putting bass in the boat and that's always a good thing. As far as a fishing trip, you want everybody to catch, you know? And everybody did catch, so we're happy with that. I feel so blessed, man, to be able to come out and do this stuff. Gosh, I'm just the luckiest guy, you know. My kids are out here with me and a couple of my pals and it's wild. It's wild. I'm having a little life moment here. You know, life can be like spiraling out of control sometimes and then sometimes it just feels like you're in the right place. I believe we all have a purpose and usually it's what your passion is you know and people have a hard time talking about pursuing your passion yeah you should pursue your passion find a way to make money while pursuing your passion you know build a life around that I don't know my thoughts just coming so um, most of what we caught today was caught on Briar's lures. If you haven't checked him out, he's linked down below. Check out his lures. Just send him a message. He'll paint you something up. And uh, well, let's get up to camp. 
rain. We made it back to the ball field. I got my bath <laughs> and we're setting up the tents. And of course, we're dealing with a little rain. So, the plan is really simple. We got our tents set up. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the tent set up. Kara is diehard. She wants to sleep in her tent. So she's got it set up. Marcus has his set up. But if the rain gets bad, we'll just retreat to the vehicles until it stops being bad. Um, so we're watching the forecast and it's looking like we're going to get a uh, significant period of time with uh, the potential of thunderstorms. So we've got it covered though. So if we need to uh, jump in the vehicles, we can for a little bit. Pollen. Honestly, the rain is hitting at with good timing because we're back here. We're at the ball field. We got our vehicles and stuff. It's going to be dark soon, so we're under shelter. It's okay. It's no big deal. So, and I might add that everybody agrees we're tired. We are tired. And I got a little sunburn on my neck. Everybody got a little sunburn, but we're tired. So we're gonna sit this rain out, take a little nap, and do some more tomorrow. <laughs> the rain has stopped, and Marcus says, hey, I'm gonna run down and uh, fish for one hour and see how many bass I can catch. And I said, no, I'm gonna stay back at the truck because my kids are there. But I lied to him. I didn't mean to, but I lied to him because now I sat there and I thought about it, I was like, hmm, I kind of want to go fishing for an hour and see if I can catch more bass than Marcus does when fishing in an hour. So he's got a jump on me of about 10 minutes. So he probably has two in the boat already. So I'm going to get down and try and catch up to him and surpass him tonight. Come on, let's go see if we can, the one hour challenge against Marcus. Let's see what we can do. I just told all the viewers that I'm going to try and beat doing a competition, one hour of fishing. So I'm going to try and catch more fish than Marcus can in an hour. I'm glad you're coming. Good news. I have good news, everybody. Marcus isn't ready yet. No way. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> this is so lame. I'm doing the bump slide back. I'm bump sliding back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a kid right now, man. I have no, I'm having a blast. Alright, so good news, bad news is we got through the rapids, you know, the little upstream paddle, and I'm tired. <laughs> and that's the good news is I've arrived, but the bad news is Marcus passed me. <laughs> so he's not as tired as me. We are casting. Let's see what we can do. Somebody got the first one. That's one. That's one. I need at least ten. I think he can t catch ten an hour, so I need at least ten. Let me get back to it. Any catch is a win. Any catch is a win. Any catch counts. There. See? four pounds that's two buddy two this is a nice one get it to the boat come on baby come on come on don't don't fall off no 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 that's good that's good <laughs> three three I don't know why I'm so excited I fully expect Marcus to have like seven by now <laughs> but for me, that's really good. Number three. Number three. 
is gone. Third one. All right. All right, we're running out of light. Let's keep going. Oh yes, oh yes, this is one of the better bass of the trip for me. <laughs> four, four, right there. That's number four. I'll send it off. Bye. That's four, we're up to four. Five, five. And again, this, this camera does a good job showing and making you think it's daylight out, but it's actually quite dark. But that is my fifth bass. And I have like one or two more spots here I can cast, so I'm gonna try. But that's number five. So unless Marcus, <laughs> unless Marcus really hammered it, I'm feeling good about my numbers anyway. But this is all one-sided, guys. Like Marcus didn't challenge me, I didn't challenge him. It was just for fun. And I think it's good. We should surround ourselves with friends who make us want to do better. And when I go fishing with Marcus, buddy, he makes me want to do better. Because look, that's the results. More bass for everybody. <laughs> that's awesome. So inside an hour, and we caught five bass right here at uh, the end of the day. And Marcus is floating toward me right now. You probably can't see him back there, but he's right back there. And uh, I'm going to cast a few more times and see if I can get another, but five. Kids are super, super excited to get back on the water today. And by super excited, I mean Derek's still asleep. <laughs> but we're just about ready. Uh, Kara still needs to break down her tent. It's still up right there. I'm working on it. She says she's working on it. And she dresses to match the tent. That fluorescent green color is popular with my daughter, I guess. <laughs> like the shoes. Yeah, got some shoes up on top of the Jeep and the boats are all still rigged and uh, I guess it's about 6 a.m. something like that. You can see that it does, we do have some daylight here. Um, got a solid overcast and you guys know I'm a fan of overcast weather and uh, we're going to be pulling some baits and I'm very optimistic. Uh, my final count yesterday was 18. I think everybody kind of has a similar final count then for the day. Um, really give or take, that's what we each caught. A uh, total of bass caught yesterday with the whole crew was 71. 71 bass caught on the first day, the practice day of paddling and bassing. Mark's the first one on a fish. First fish of the day. Get him, Marcus! <laughs> whoop, whoop, what's that? Right about 15, yeah. Cool. Mark's on the board with his first catch of the day. Marcus, you four now. So he's got three on the board so far this morning. So your boy needs to get started here. I've been focused on, uh, you know, taking care of the snags because, you know, it's my thing. So Mark's on one, my daughter, my son, 
And Marcus right there just caught one too. So they doubled up. Mark and Marcus doubled up. It's cool that my kids are out here just paddling and fishing with me. I freaking love this, man. Marcus caught a sucker. Briars? Caught a sucker on a jerk bait. Wild. Short chubby. Look at that belly. This is a short chubby fish. Yeah. So that's number one in the boat for me this morning. I am. Uh, I have two losses, and then that catch right there. And he's gone. So Derek caught one also, and we we're dealing with some rapids here in front of us, but. Yeah, we're having fun out here. Good thing I was stowing my rod. You guys see I'm hung up on this rock here. I'm just using this rock to hold me in place. And my kids are kind of working their way down through this real shallow section. And my son especially doesn't have the highest level of self-confidence. It's interesting that you know that you're perfectly capable of doing something and yet you won't do it. And this is true of all, all people, adults included, children included, perfectly capable of doing it, knowing you're capable of doing it, but you haven't proven that you're capable of doing it. And so confidence can't be developed until you've proven you can do it. And I'm watching them push through these rapids, and they know they can do it, but they've never done it before. And now that they've done it, every time we approach these rapids, they're like, okay, and they just go through it. The confidence being built in them. I've heard it said, it's one thing to believe you can do something. It's another thing <laughs> to know that you can do something. It's easy to know you can do something if you've already done it. There's a lot of people out there who believe in themselves, but they've never done it. It's a different level of confidence, and I'm seeing that in my kids today. That's so cool. I wanted to share that with you. Go develop some confidence in whatever it is you're pursuing, guys. It's good to feel, as a father, it's good to see my kids doing that. This trip is so good. Kayaking is so much more than floating down a river. Fishing is so much more than catching fish. It's a good day, man. And moments later, I broke Mark's paddle. It's supposed to look like that. And it looks like that. And I'm hung up. <laughs> Fish on, double up. Double up. Fish off. Number six for the day. Hey, Mark. I broke your paddle, buddy. That makes both of my paddles. You broke yours too? Broke the tip off. Look at that, yeah you did. I just bought these. I salvaged it. it it's, it's toast. It's done, but I found it. Hey, I have an idea. First off, it's no problem. Yeah, I'll it replace is. your paddle. Huh? It's no problem. I'll make sure you have a new paddle. You don't want to know what they cost. Well, I, I can only imagine. <laughs> Still. But, uh, it's only right. In the boat. Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! Fish on! Fish on! Kara got one! Kara's got one coming out. I was just going to talk to you guys. Get my big mug out of the face. Fish off? Oh no. Oh. Unfortunately, that's part of it too. The hootie hoo has become the battle cry here. So the victory cry, I should say. So when we're catching, we're yelling, hootie hoo. And so it's good to hear everybody kind of reverberates it and we all look to see who caught you know so it's been nice and uh that's what that's all about 
I think I'm doing the poorest of everybody. Um, Kara had two fish on right here in this hole, and I have yet to. I haven't even hooked into one. So she had two on and two off, like you just saw. But we're doing good. She's casting right behind me, so I gotta get off here. <laughs> she says she's too proper to say hula hoo. <laughs> it's like I, I don't do that. I am a fool. I dropped I dropped Marcus's spinner rod in the water and Mark is the hero. Mark's the hero! Hero! <laughs> Mark fished out my fishing rod. I can't be trusted with your fishing rod. <laughs> <sighs> I'd give it to you again. <laughs> I was upset about that one. That Good job, great. boys. Thank you. No problem, buddy. Recovery mission successful. I want to let it dry out a little bit. Put some <laughs> yeah. Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! <laughs> That's definitely a fucking She said it! <laughs> Hoo -hoo! Okay, let it go. Do you want to come see me let it go? Go ahead. Bye bye, fishy. It's a lot. Good fish, Kara. This trip has been uh, phenomenal, really. I think everybody got, like Mark got to redeem himself from last year, as he's been saying. Marcus, I think, has bested his count, um, and me too, you know, but uh, the kids and the success with the kayaks and the, the kayaking adventure with them. For first time kayakers, they're just, they're machines, man. They just kept going, really, really pleased with how they did so I'm gonna say goodbye in this one guys um, next year we're gonna do this again we're already gonna we, we have committed now we're gonna do this like an annual thing and if uh, you haven't made any of the events that I put on and stuff um, this wouldn't be a bad one to make your first now it's not gonna be until next next summer but between now and then I will have some other events so just keep an eye out I'll announce them on Facebook you can follow all the links down below for Mark, uh, for Brian, for Briars, lures, that, that's the, the predominant lore that we used on this trip. But anyways, you guys already know that, so I'm going to wrap it up, man. I'm going to get out of here. And hopefully y'all get out of here. <laughs> All right. See you in the water.